Hello, my name is Emily Watson and I'm a second year medical student. Before starting at medical school, I worked for three years as a registered nurse in an emergency department. I qualified um, as an adult nurse in 2014 and I went straight to A&E as a newly qualified nurse. I first applied for medicine when I was 17 at high school. I wasn't successful, so I, I took a gap year and I worked as a healthcare assistant for a year. I then applied again at 18 and um, again wasn't able to gain a place, so I took a, um, a place on a nursing course. I studied adult nursing. Um, I qualified in 2014 and then I um, worked in the emergency department. I really enjoyed working in the A&E and I love the diversity and the fact that no two shifts are the same. I particularly enjoyed working in resus, which is looking after the uh, more complicated patients that require one-to-one -one nursing. This included major trauma patients, cardiac arrests and um, septic patients. Um, I really enjoyed the team atmosphere at the emergency department. Um, this included working with the doctors, nurses, technicians, CSTs, healthcare assistants, cleaners like the, the team was fantastic and they've all supported me throughout my medical training so far. So when you were making that career change was there anything you were particularly worried about? One of the main things that scared me was getting back into study. Um, although I'd done a few courses um, during my three years as a nurse I'd not actually done any serious study. Also I think finance was a bit worrying getting used to living off a low income. However, I mainly felt excited to get to medical school. It's something that I'd always wanted to do and I was really eager um, to get started. So what have been the, um, the easiest and most difficult parts of making the transition to medical school? So I've actually found the transition easier than I first thought. Um, I've really enjoyed the lecture contents and learning about uh, different aspects in medicine in much more depth. For example, I really like the way that anatomy is taught at Warwick. I enjoyed working through the anatomy book and then visualising the anatomy on the plastinated specimens every Friday. Um, I do think that anatomy and physiology is something that isn't taught um, in enough depth in nursing. I miss the nurse-patient relationship and the excitement of working in the emergency department though. So what's been your favourite part of the Warwick course so far? Uh, so far I've really enjoyed the anatomy teaching, however one block that took me by surprise was neuro. Um, I, having worked in ED I'd, I'd looked after patients who had suffered strokes but um, actually learning the anatomy and physiology behind it um, was fascinating. I really enjoyed the puzzle of trying to figure out where the cause of the stroke was coming from, um, in particular with brainstem strokes. However, one block that took me by surprise was the neuro block. I particularly enjoyed working through stroke. I liked the puzzle of finding out where the lesion could be. Um, I have a lot of experience looking after stroke patients in the emergency department and I found it fascinating to be able to apply what I'd learnt through the neuro block into what I'd seen in practice. What societies have you joined at the medical school? Uh, during my first year I didn't actually join many societies as I wanted to focus more on my studies. I did attend student seminars which were run by the second years um, and I found it really helpful to go through some of the more difficult concepts and I was able to ask questions as well. I also joined the University of Warwick Corfball team. Um, so I first played corfball during uh, my nursing degree, um, really enjoyed it. Not many people have actually heard of it so it's uh, like a mixture of basketball and netball um, only with um, mixed mix sex. Um, and also you get the opportunity to attack and defend in the same game. Um, the University of Warwick team's only in its second season this year and uh, we're about to start to box a uh, competition which is very, very exciting. Do you have any particular specialty interests? I mean, you used to work in A&E, so do you still want to work in A&E? Yeah, at the moment I still absolutely love emergency medicine. Um, I miss working in ED. Having worked as part of a trauma team looking after stabbing victims that re may require intubation, ventilation, chest strains. Um, I was fascinated by how the emergency doctors took charge, managed multiple issues through the ABCDE approach. However, I want to go into my hospital placements with an open mind as I may well end up loving a completely different specialty. Um, so do you think that nursing is a good pre-med degree? Uh, definitely, the experiences and knowledge that I've gained as a nurse has prepared me for my career in medicine. As an ED nurse I was able to assist in a number of procedures. Um, I was also able to triage patients with me, which gave me great insight into taking a history and prioritising care. I also learned how to cope with difficult days, for example talking to my friends, colleagues, parents definitely helped to, me to deal with some of the stress and um, it also prepared me for the exam period which I find, found particularly tough. Okay so what do you say to any other nurses thinking about making that same switch? 
go for it. Um, it's hard work and the application process can be difficult. Um, the main thing is to ace the entrance exams. So I sat the UK CAT and the GAMSAT and I definitely did better in the UK CAT. Um, what I found helped was just practice, practice, practice. Uh, for the interview, I spoke to doctors at work who gave me tips and also helped me practice interview questions. I also reflected on experiences I'd had in practice, such as where I coordinated the department on a busy night shift. Um, where I had to delegate tasks and manage staff. So this gave me a great example to use where I'd taken leadership and also been part of a team. One piece of advice I'd give to any aspiring doctor is to gain as much experience as possible. I was lucky enough to work in a department where we had many study days um, and there were plenty of opportunities for me to develop further skills. But if you do have the opportunity as a nurse to go around to the different departments and wards and learn a bit more about the special specialties, I would definitely recommend that. So now obviously we're in our second year of medical school. At this point, how do you feel about the NHS compared to how you felt when you were studying to be a nurse? Um, there has definitely been a lot of change in the NHS from when I started um, my nursing degree in 2011. One of the main things I feel quite strongly about is the government getting rid of the bursary for student nurses. Unfortunately, this has led to a massive drop in the number of applications due to the course being not affordable. As a, as a nursing student, we've spent 50% of our time on the wards. And although we were supposed to be supernumerary, this was very rarely the case. Because of the long shifts, sometimes up to 14 hours, and also long commutes, again, up to an hour each way, there just isn't enough time to get part-time work during your nursing degree. I am interested to see what the future holds for the NHS in both nursing and medicine. Have you found time to work at all as a nurse while studying medicine? So during year one I only worked during the holidays so I worked over Christmas including Christmas Eve night um, which actually I really enjoyed. It kept my skills up to date and the extra little bit of money definitely helped. However I decided not to work at Easter and to focus my time on my studies. Um, this was definitely the right decision because it gave me time to um, catch up with friends and family and to also then focus on my studies as well. Um, I was then able to work for two months during the summer holidays. It was strange going back into nursing with a little bit of extra knowledge. Uh, the doctors and ACPs were really supportive in teaching me, um, however I soon got back into the swing of nursing. So do you feel that your nursing career has allowed you to bring extra skills to the table where people like me who went straight to medical school without clinical experience wouldn't have. So as an A&E nurse I would be constantly triaging patients and talking to family members during a shift and this has given me um, the confidence in taking a medical history and performing clinical skills. Uh, thank you all for listening, I hope it's been useful. If you have any questions at all my email address should appear at the bottom of the screen now. Uh, thanks again and best of luck to anyone applying.